Hello, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. I am your girl, Miss L. And today, you guys, today, this is going to be a whole different kind of video, you guys. This is going to be a rant video. So go grab your popcorn, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, or whatever you need to do. Your drinks. I don't care what you're drinking on tonight. It could be anything. But, yeah, this is going to be a Bath and Body Works rant. And I just want to say thank you to all of my subbies. You know who you are. Thank you to all of those that like my video, share my videos, continue to give me thumbs up, and don't forget to hit that post notification bell down below so that you will be notified each and every time I upload a video. So forgive the attire. I went to the gym and I blew off a lot of steam. And <laughs> Without further ado, I'm just going to tell you exactly what happened to me. So, you guys, I went to Bath and Body Works today. And I went in to exchange four candles. Two single wick candles and two three wick candles, you guys. So, I go through the door. And there's this CSM who's always there. Um, she mostly works in the evening time. And, <laughs> you know, it's crazy because each and every time she's there and I go into the store, I can kind of pick up on bad vibes. And I don't know if you guys understand what bad vibes mean, but let's just say the aura is just not, it's not good. The air is not clear. So, she asked me what I was coming in for today. And I told her that I wanted to exchange the four candles. I said I have two single wick candles and two three wick candles. So, I proceeded to give her my bag because back in May, there was some issues at another location where an associate actually snatched my bag out of my hand when I came through the door and told me, oh, just give me that. I'll take it to the front for you. And I was, I was to the point where it was about to be a showdown in Bath and Body Works yet again, because I've seen the video. And, you know, I kind of just wrote it off. I filed a complaint. But I wrote it off. I said, well, I'm, I'm going to give this another chance. So from here on out, when I go into the store, I'll just give the associate my bag so that it won't be any issues. Well, you guys, while I'm looking for the new candles that I want, because, you know, they have the little hand baskets now, I put my candles in the basket as she's going to the front of the store. But she didn't stop at the front of the store where the counter and the registers are. She went towards the back of the store with my bag in my in her hand. So, you know, I didn't really pay it any attention. I'm thinking, well, maybe she just forgot something back there. But I did see her, like, rummaging through my bag as she was walking through the back. Didn't really pay it any, any mind. So then, as I'm putting my last candle, my three-week candle into my basket, she approaches me. And so she says to me, may I have you? I'm just going to tell you the location. It's in Conyers, Georgia. Because that's how pissed off I am about this situation. It's in Conyers, Georgia. So, she approaches me. And she says to me, ma'am, where did you get these candles? And this is, this is how she's holding the candles as she's approaching me. Ma'am, where did you get these candles? And I'm like, from Bath and Body Works. From this location? Or from another location. 
I said I don't remember. I got them either here at this location or my mall in Lithonia, Georgia, which is 15 minutes away from this location. But I purchased them doing SAS. Well, they did not have any business selling you these test candles. So I said, well, how am I supposed to know the difference? And why would, I e why would I even care? Well, the difference is the bottom is marked out. And some of them have the Try Me stickers on them. But once again, why would I care? If they're on the table for sale, I'm going to scoop them up. I'm going to purchase them. So she says to me, well, I can't honor this return because we don't sell test candles here. Do you have your receipt? I have my receipt. It's at home, but I have so many receipts. I said, you know what? No, I think I might have a receipt in my email. An e-receipt. But why would it even matter when I just want to exchange? Because, once again, these are test candles. I said, well, I don't have anything to do with that. I could care less if they're test candles or whatever you want to call them. Either you give me my money back or you let me exchange the candles, which is part of your mission statement that's posted right there on your register. Well, just one moment. I'm gonna go and call my manager to confirm whether or not I can return these candles. I said, okay, yeah, you go do that. So, while she's going to call her manager, of course, my blood is boiling. I can feel my pressure rising. And so she comes back out about two minutes later. Well, and she still has the candles in her hand. I called my manager and she said that sometimes during SAS, certain stores will mark down single wick candles or place the test candles on the table for sale. I wasn't aware of this, but, and I'm thinking to myself, I know you have been here since December because I've seen you in the store. But I'm going to exchange them for you this time. <laughs> this time? No, you're going to exchange them this time, next time, and any other time that I'm not pleased or satisfied with your product. Because guess what? As long as I purchase them within the U.S. of A, I don't care if I burn a candle down to the freaking wick, which is just not right, but I've seen people do it return a freaking empty jar. So she tells me, well, I apologize. I said, well, I don't really consider an apology because I'm offended. Do you understand what I mean by that? Well, I'm sorry that I offended you. I said, yeah, not only did you offend me, but you called me out in front of all of your associates and the rest of these customers in the store. And right now, words can't even express the anger that I feel right now towards you. So I think the best thing for you to do, just to satisfy me as a customer, is to contact the customer service department so that they can become aware of what has 
transpired here today so that that proper training um, can be expressed. Not only that, the, the policy and procedure and also your mission statement. And she looks at me and I said, is there, is there a problem? Are you going to call customer service? Ma'am, are you going to call customer service? I said, ma'am, if you're not going to contact customer service, then I will. Ma'am, are you going to call customer service? Five times that I have to ask her to pick up the phone and contact customer service. And I'm just sit on that. I ended up having to pick up my phone and contact customer service and explain to them what happened. And do you know that this woman disappeared to the very back of the store. And you know what the customer service department tells me? Well, I apologize about your experience today. And as a courtesy, I would like to give you a $15 gift card for your inconvenience. $15? Are you serious? Do you know how much your three wick candles are? Do you know how much I pay for your candles? <laughs> Do you know how much a single wick candle is, ma'am? By itself? Do you know how much a freaking lip gloss is at your store? How much a tube of lip glosses? What do you want me to get? A body mist? Or hand soap? Because I can't stretch $15 far now, can I? Forgot about tax. So yeah. I ended up in that store for literally an entire hour. Something that should have taken me 10 minutes or less to achieve took me an hour, an hour of my time in Bath and Body Works. Not, not an enjoyable experience, but a very, very, very livid and angry experience. And then she gives me a case number and I asked her, well, what is this case number going to prove? What, what, what is this case number going to do for me? Am I going to call back and, you know, I'm going to be given a, a, a $30 gift certificate once everything is investigated? Well, no, ma'am. Your, your call and your feedback is going to be forwarded to the general manager of that store. And um, I'm going to contact the store and speak with the associates and the managers about the policy and procedures. Because we want all of our customers to be happy and, and leave the store with an enjoyable experience. Well, it must be nice because today I'm not leaving with a smile on my face. Today I'm leaving your location, this location, pissed beyond measures. And this makes me want to go home and put all of this shit in a barrel that belongs to Bath and Body Works, that has your name or your logo on it, and wheelbarrow all of that shit right back up there to your store. 
Forgive me for the profanity, but at the time, that's how I felt. And your common courtesy of $15? <laughs> I'm going to just leave it at that. So, yeah, you guys, it was not an enjoyable experience. It was not a happy experience for me. Not at all. But do you think they care? Do you think they care at all? What this lesson has taught me, because I have, I have put in three formal complaints with Bath & Body Works about my store experiences this year alone in 2021. And I feel as if I'm spending my hard-earned money in your location and truth be told, I spent well over four or five thousand dollars. Just to be honest with you. Just to be honest with you guys. And that's not bragging. But I feel like, you know what? I enjoy, I enjoy certain things from my house from that company. I enjoy your candles. I enjoy, you know, your hand soap. I enjoy that. It's a variety. But you know what? It'll be a cold day in hell before I give you any more of my money and you not rectify or correct an issue. It, it will never justify the way that I felt or what needs to be done as a customer. There's no feedback, phone call, or return phone calls about your experience. You giving me a case number doesn't prove anything. What, you're going to correct an issue? As you said, you're going to call them and, and then what? That was very rude, inconsiderate, and flat foot out, really uncalled for. If you were uncertain about something, you should have picked up the phone and called your manager from the beginning. When you were ramaging through my bag. So, this is not the first time that I have an issue at that location. And actually, once before, I took a candle back and she asked me, well, did you burn it? Why does it freaking matter if I burned it or not? If I don't like it, what is, what is your job? What is your job to do, ma'am? So, that's what I'm saying. I, I'm not going to carry on too, too, too much longer. But leave your experiences down in the comments. Tell me, you know, if you've had issues. Not with just this company, with any company. And until next time, you guys, you take care and bye. <laughs>